you didn't actually speak to Mr. Bond uh, before you put in your final evidence. No. The reason you gave for that wasn't because Mr. Bond was abusive and you were worried about speaking to him. The reason you gave was because um, you'd heard all you needed to hear from him, um, uh, and, and that was that was it as far as you were concerned. Well, no, I said that my assessments had con concluded and previous assessments um, obviously had had been finished. So I had all the the assessment um, that that I had that I needed. However, I also said um, that the correspondence that I have seen and, and have received, sorry, from um, Mr. Bond has been abusive. So, and that continues to be How? seen. Uh, How? Ms. Keane, are you saying that um, uh, abusive correspondence from Mr. Bond was the reason why you didn't speak to him? No, so, as no. I said... Okay, so Ms. Keane... Yeah, so, so that, that contributes sorry my lady and um, that contributes to it because that has been a theme throughout proceedings that he he struggles to um have meaningful conversations with professionals and ultimately that often ends with with him or starts with him being abusive to them well i can tell you from what you told me i don't see any problem neither in your history nor in your behavior thank you all right you have too. a good day you too. thank you and, and you have had a handover did you with mr hall um, they're positively identifying you as providing emotional warmth to uh, to your son. Potential of emotional harm, providing emotional warmth. Yes, suspect him as the case um, transferred, yes. Um, you haven't given an example, have you, of an email sent by Mr. Bond? No, but I do. Uh, there is there is one that he has sent to me, yes. Miss Keane, there was one email sent to you, wasn't there? Yes. Um, Mr. Bond tells us that the email he sent to you was 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 nothing more than the sorts of points he's he's made. I'm not going to have this. I'm not having reference to a document. I haven't seen. Can somebody send me emails? Thirty-five hundred thirty-three. So nothing that sticks out in your mind as being abusive. No. And have you read his statement? Have you read Mr. Bond's statement? Most recent. It's it's quite a long statement has a number of exhibits to it. Have you, have you read that statement? Uh, yes, I don't have it in front of me, but I will have read it, yes. Is there anything abusive I in that statement? From, uh, towards me personally? Or to the local authority? Um, I mean, it's difficult to, to recall. I've, as I've said, I've read it all, but um, I mean, I can look at it now if it's in front of me. Question to the The most strenuous point he makes to you is that you, you've lied in your report. Do you consider that to be offensive or intimidating? Yes, I consider it to be offensive. <laughs> and Mr. Slater, can we take a reality check here? It says, but to add to the dishonesty of his disappointing, unprofessional and inexcusable, and he goes on to say you're guilty of gross negligence, or you've consciously committed perjury. Mm -hmm. I mean, read that opinion in, in as a whole, please. Yeah? And right at the end, he signs off making the point that you've, you've not spoken to him. Do you think he w might have been frustrated that you provided that report without speaking to him? Potentially, yes. Because in the, at the end of your document, when you sum up the pros and cons of placement of the father, you didn't ask him, did you, about his response to any of those issues? No. So I'm aware of his views from um, correspondence, various correspondence, but I'm aware of it, yes. And obviously previous assessment, I'm aware of that. Do you accept, Ms. Keane, that he has a good relationship with Christian son? Yeah, from contact, the contact is positive. Um, that's been again a theme of um, the social work evidence um, throughout this case. He's done well, hasn't he, in the circumstances of a, you know, what you might describe as quite a complex case. It's been quite kinetic, hasn't it? Uh, and it's been quite stressful, probably, for, for Mr. Bond. He's done well to put that aside and enjoy his time with his son. 
is stuck. <gasps> My hand's stuck. Oh. Oh. Take it up. <laughs> oh, it's really stuck good. Oh. Take it up. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think that I'm. I probably wouldn't agree with the word and have done well, but. They're not stupid, they're full of shit.